Hello and welcome back to Oblivion. Um, last time we were just doing some Knights of the Nine stuff. Um, yeah, and we're going to be finishing that up today. And then probably get into the main quest. <clears throat> Depends on how much more there is to the Knights of the Nine. But seeming as basically the quest is like go back to the priory and then consult with the night spell how to attack and destroy umaro so yeah so that's kind of that right now All right. Why is the game not being whatever? Okay. Priory of the Nine. Lord Crusader, the prophet is here. He's just arrived. He seemed to know you were coming, told me to wait for you, and here you are. Come. He is preaching to the assembled knights in the chapel. You should speak to him at once. Thank <laughs> you. 
We can't sit there. Who are you? You have stepped from the humble shadows of obscurity and into legend. No feat you have accomplished in your life compares to what you have become. You are an embodiment of Helenul White Strake. The bane of Umaru the Unfeathered. The time has come for you to fulfill your destiny. Umaru lies here in the ancient bane of Garlas Malatar. You must go there and destroy him. I am ready then. No. Should you face Umaru, you would suffer the same fate as Pelinal. Times change, and even the shape of the divine itself must change with it. Where once there were eight, now one more stands with them, and they have become nine. You mean Talos? I, with the apotheosis of Tiber Septum. The face of the divine was transformed. Talos ascended, and the eight became <laughs> nine. So, although you wear the armor of the gods, it is incomplete. A relic of the old ways and the old gods. How do I destroy Umaril then? As a proven guardian of this realm, and a warrior the likes of which have not been seen in millennia, Talos grants you his sacred blessing. With the ancient gifts of the Eight and the new gift of the One, you are ready to face Umril. What does the blessing do? It will allow you to follow Umaril into the spirit realm upon his death. It will allow you to destroy him, body and soul, utterly and for all time. You must first kill his living body. While beyond the power of most mortals, this is only the lesser of your two tasks. His daedric nature allows his spirit to escape into oblivion after death. Oh, this is what Helena learned upon defeating Umaril the first time. But you can do what Helena could not. The blessings of Talos will allow you to follow Umaril's spirit when it leaves his body. This you must do, and you must not fail. You will not, because the Nine fight with you. For sector for this guy, it's so great. I agree. I agree with that. Also, hello, Alzif Alzifi. Welcome. All right. I want to know about Umaril's spirit. When Umaril joined with the Daedra, his spirit expanded beyond this realm. His physical form can travel between realms, but his spirit. When his body is destroyed, his spirit travels back to oblivion and is reformed in the fires of creation. With the armor of the gods and the blessing of Talos, you will be able to follow him where Pelinor could not and destroy his very spirit. Once his spirit is destroyed, he will be completely obliterated erased from all realms of existence. 
What is Garlas Malatar? Terror. That. Garlas Malatar was the westernmost outpost of the Alien Empire. It watched over what we call the Abyssinian Sea. Since his return, Umaril has taken Garlas Malatar as his lair. That is where you must seek him out. All right. What kind of a foe is Umaril? Umaril cannot be bested in his physical form by any normal means. His blows can strike down the mightiest of warriors in a single stroke. The Eight created the relics to withstand Umaril's spell power. Do not attempt to face him without this divine protection. That's all. I'm ready. Your knights will assemble at Garlas Malatar and await you there. Gather all those who you deem worthy. Not all who enter those halls shall return. Those who fall in service of the Nine will live on forever in the halls of their fathers. I wish you well on your quest, Crusader. We are depending on you. <clears throat> no. Do you still? Can't. You have achieved what no knight yeah, since the knows legendary like, divine you know. crusader has achieved. You have reassembled Pelinol's holy armor and weapons. <laughs> you are truly the divine crusader reborn. You are ready to face Umaril and destroy him. In the name of the eight and one. Yeah, I mean, I guess if Umaril, that was kind of his place, like his main hold or whatever, I guess it makes sense for him to know that's where he would be. But if he just, you know, I guess studied and knows all about Umaril and all that stuff. So I guess that would make makes sense eight and one just as the eight aided Pelin all of old now the ascended one Talos who was Tiber Septum provides his blessing to you the new Crusader all right go now and fulfill your destiny you are ready We meet again. I am here to join your order, having received a divine vision from Kinnereth herself. I have been shown that to protect all Kinnereth's creations, I must take up your cause and be willing to lay down my life for you. So here I am. I have no doubt that our good works will be talked of in the eras to come. Yeah, probably, you know, like I said, probably all about learning about Pelinol, White Strike, and Umaril, and all that whole thing. Yeah, I'm like, yes! Finally! <laughs> I accept. Welcome to the Order. Thank you. I shall serve the Order to the best of my ability. I must change into something that suits a knight. Please excuse me. Nope, not you. Yes! Hail Sir, Knight. Hail, Sir Knight. My brother and I have heard that you are founding a holy order of knights, and we would like to offer you our sword. We've come all the way from Skyrim to join up. We can't claim any experience as knights, but we learn soldiering from our years in the Legion. Will you have us? I accept. Welcome to the order. You won't regret it, sir. 
You'll find us true-hearted and brave. I'll be back as soon as I've Good. outfitted myself. Sir Knight, allow me to introduce myself. I am Brelin of Sylvia, <coughs> at your service. I come to offer myself as a knight in service of Oriel, or Akatosh, as he is known in Cyrodiil. I bring nothing but my skill with the blade, which is not inconsiderable, and my devotion to the Lord Oriel. Will you accept me, as unworthy as I am? Welcome to the Order. I am honored to join the Order under your illustrious command. Excuse me while I go to the armory and attire myself as befits a Knight of the Nine. Chen, yeah, definitely. So do I... Well oh, met. Sir well met. Do I do anything... Repairs, right? I'm pretty right. handy. What? Bye. Let's see. I am a chop. May the nine guide your way. I am a chop. While you may have performed greater deeds, none have meant more to me than your redemption of my friend. Soon we will all finish our long delayed journey to Athelius, and Sir Beric will be among us as of old. Thank you. All right. I'm not going to put the relics on there. Yet. Maybe. Who knows? Can we check my potions? So, 27 strong potions, 8 normal, 28 weak. Yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, that is pretty, um, at the edge of Cyrodiil. Go to Hrota Cave. Oh, oh, there's my eek. Eh, he's off.
Oh well. Oh yeah, yeah. The um, yeah, one of the locations, I forget which relic it was for, but yeah, going in into the lake and just yeah, that was kind of crazy. Ow! Oh, look. Let me just um. Arrived at Garlos Melitar. My sworn foe Umbril is the unfeathered awaits me inside. The final duty of my holy quest is to find him and destroy him. Alright. Everything's all good and okay. Stand ready. Close command. Yes, Lord Crusader. Mm -hmm. All right. As we launch the attack. Oh, there's more people here. Wilson. Hail, Commander. Greetings, Sinner. Launch the attack. Stand. Knights of the Nine! Umaril and his Aurorans must be destroyed! They must be destroyed! We delivered that was We're ready for anything. Kind of funny. There's no telling what we'll find. Knights! Knights of the Nine! nine. <laughs> Yeah, they... What's the matter? Getting tired. Okay. They got him, right? Whoa. Hey, what did you do that for? Some That's kind of what? maniac? Just shout at them. Who? Okay. Ah, frames like, oh my gosh, too many people. So far, so good. You think we took them by surprise? I think we took them by surprise. Frames are the vengeance of the gods is Are you? What's the matter? Getting tired. I I always love that line though. Guess they're just gonna run off without me. I'm kind of like loot. The nine. 
Also, I'm sorry for the frames being um, not great. Oh, you're still alive. So he just has that Daedric stuff. Okay, let's repair stuff. All right. Potion if you he has a hoe, okay. Well I like, like some of the knights will die and then they, they all they all die. Plus, some went this way, I assume. Don't need that. Do, 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 do. Right, save here. Weapons. 
You know what? You. Ow. I'm gonna get rid of that mage one. One. Shoot some lightning. They'll just all. Gosh dang it. See my health there. Gosh dang it. Crap. Ah, you. So I think that was the mage one. I forgot I had to do that. <laughs> Gotta figure it out like, oh yeah, the orb. Right. You know, let's really repair this stuff now. Okay, so that has not much charge to it. Yeah, I kind of realize that. Because, like, you see it, but it's not, it's like, that's what's making them revive or whatever. It's just there's an orb in there that you... You know. Well, I guess I'm the only one here that's alive, so...
oh well. Oh, are you him? Oh, you're him, okay. You are you're you're kind of a chump. We were all the same. True, it must cast the blessing of Talos on myself. I want that. All right. Ooh, okay. So, Blessing of Talos. Before I do that. Save and then we'll do the All right. <laughs> oh well, yeah. Any order of knights? Oh well. Now we can probably recruit some fighters guild people. Hold on. What is Umaril's sword? Oh, it's a two man. It is kind of cool. Also, the frame rate. Ah. Humeril's utterly destroyed. I have completed my holy quest. Lucifer, arise. Stand and face the light. Breathe again. Can you speak up a bit? serve as the sword and the shield of the mind and the dark hands that might be. Oh, you are dead, Talos. You have 
succeeded well, we could not. You and your knights have held true to your purpose. That was our purgatory is at hand. We go to the glory of the moon to serve in their host. Simply pray that you use it to join us and give us the May your sword serve them on all the days of your lives. Farewell. Goodbye. What about, what about this guy? You redeemed my soul from the evil that had ensnared me. But uh, I am forever in your debt. The old bitterness that seems so important to me in life. What is that now? How to weigh that against my very soul? Knights of the Nine. The Knights of the Nine stand together once again. I would not have thought it possible. We owe you. A great debt. Sir Caius. The evil took hold of me the day that I slew Sir Caius on the Priory steps. I baited him, knowing his temper, and then I killed him when he drew against me. I killed him in cold blood with the holy sword itself. I could have disarmed him. Or wounded him, but a cold pride had taken hold of me, and so I slew him and went to war and never returned. The evil grew upon me so until I became cruel, a tyrannical ruler, a terror upon the land. In death, evil held me even tighter than. Thanks to you, and all is behind me. Sir Caius and I will go to Etheria side by side, as of old. The gods are truly merciful. Sword of the Crusader. I took the sword down with me into evil. You have redeemed us both. The gods smile on such deeds, noble knight. Yes. Uh, okay. Well, that was basically the Knights of the Nine. I mean, I was probably a tad bit overpowered for Umaril. Oh well. Now the question is this. Yeah, it's, there's no real reason not to keep this. Gonna keep that. I'm probably gonna put. Can I put individual pieces on this? I don't need the greaves. It's gonna look really weird, all incomplete looking, but. Okay, so. And the boots of the Crusader, Crusader are nice, but. Now it's just pants and, and boots. Alright. Anything else? 
is my... I could probably keep that just in case I need some sort of speech thing and I can wear that. Shield, I mean, reflect spell, 18% is nice. Does reflect spell 30% though. And I'm keeping this because the fortified endurance and the reflect damage 30% is pretty good. I know where to come back for this stuff anyway, so. Yeah, it's gonna be there, so. No. Of course, let's see. So that's all the way charged up. Yeah, numeral sword. I'm not gonna sell that, obviously. I'm just gonna. So I am wearing. The gauntlets. Right. The gauntlets. Yeah. Yeah, so that's I'm gonna keep here. So I just wanted to keep it in one place, obviously, and this is you know, pants. And the mace and the shield. I hope they're not gonna be mad about everyone, um, you know dying when we were attacked. The... Lord Crusader, how can this be? You, you're alive. It's a miracle. I heard voices in the Undercroft, and I came to investigate. You vanished, you found me. After the battle, we searched further into the ruin and found you next to Umaro's corpse. You had no wounds on your body, but you were dead. I saw it with my own eyes. You did not draw breath. We laid you to rest in the Undercroft. We kept your death a secret. We feared what would happen if our enemies thought you were dead. Even death cannot stop the Crusader. I can see that. I... you'll have to excuse me. I need a moment to collect my thoughts. We found Umaro's body next to yours. But it seemed that you had met the same fate as Pelinor Whitestrake. We didn't know. Tell me, Umaro, what happened? Did you succeed in pursuing him into the spirit realm as the prophet said? I have severed his soul. Then he is destroyed. We've won. And you're alive. I have to tell the others. Of course. are but I'll take them yes the others that totally lived an hour so we can level up.
Okay, so... Oh, what the... Knights of the Nine, here. Today we have witnessed undeniable proof of the strength and the might of the gods we serve. Slain in battle was the dread Umaro. By the grace and mercy of the Nine, the Crusader lives again. How can this be, you ask? What of our foe? What has become of Umaro the Unfettered? Umaro has been slain by the Crusader. His very spirit cast into the void and destroyed for all eternity. He will never rise again. Let us give thanks to the Nine. By their power, the Crusader has rid the world of Umaro forever. Hail the Lord Crusader! Hail, 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 h
Come back. Okay, so what's our farewell? Just let me go to my home in Leowin and just. Yeah. Just um, put up the Umaril sword and then probably gonna go buy some potions and then then main quest. How are you? Yeah, I think that's the it's good order to do that. Yeah. Down. <clears throat> Basically, the only reason why I bought a house was just to have a place to kind of dump stuff at. So. Oh, yes. Okay. That can go there. That in there. Alright. Alright, so that's good. So now I'm gonna go fast travel to Imperial City. Get some potions. Then finally get to Kavach. Finally. I I'm sure they're all doing fine. <laughs> Okay, let's just wait. Yeah, so how how are y'all? So there we go. Nope. All right. It's more pretty good, well stacked on potions, but I have everything. Does not hurt to be what overly can I interest prepared, you in? especially in this game. All right. You can give me a slight discount, right? No deal. Fine, fifty percent it is. You bought that for a song. Okay, and then sweet. That's a good deal. Actually, I do want to get some. A fine bargain for you. The potions, then. There we go. I have. Thank you too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those oblivion gates are all just all just fake. Currently modding my uh, brewing coffee, and that sounds like a good, good time. Nice. That's always, it's always good. Let's see. Fair hammer. Okay. I'm doing good. Just. You know, oblivioning, oblivioning. There we go. Other than that, you know, just kind of whatever, really. Let's go here and then kind of make a. Yeah.
but I'm glad you're doing all right. Chestnut horse, okay. So that way. I mean, kind of the reason why I wanted to do a lot of that stuff before doing the main quest is because I didn't want to have Oblivion Gates just opening up all over the place. Because that's annoying. Um, but, but yeah. about to start up but it was not be right back real quick
All right, and we're back. All right, there we go. Sorry about that. Let's go this way. Run, dear, run. The Gottschall Inn. Hmm. I don't know if I've ever been here. feeling that you and I are about to become very close. A pleasure to speak. A pleasure to speak with you. Pay attention and you can learn a lot. I can show you some new good that you want. I can show you some knowledge is I offer the finest goods and lowest prices okay. in all So mercantile. Which is one of our major skills, so that's gonna be helpful. Take care. What can I Aye, but there's a bed free if you need it. It'll be ten gold. For I'll the take night. it. Right then. Up the stairs in the back, and it's the last door at the end of the hall. Straight ahead of you after turning that corner. Of course. Bye. Oh, five hours. All right. Stop right there, criminal scum. Stop right there, criminal scum. What? Nobody. What? What did I do? What? What? Just gonna... Just gonna ignore that. What? What did I do? Did I accidentally hit someone? What? 518 items stolen. I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. I'm just trying to remember like what I could have done, but Unless it was I accidentally hit someone when we were going after Umaril, but 
Because it's not important that he's not just, you know, running at me. Huh. Strange. But I'm not gonna, not gonna, you know, they're not gonna chase after me and say, you must pay your fine or whatever. I'm not gonna <laughs> go up to them because I didn't know what I did. Oh. Well done. Yeah. Yeah, she did. I've that has happened to me quite a bit. I don't know why. Like why it's so easy to throw me back like their friggin' Sauron or whatever. Because my armor is good. Eh. No. Oh well. Stuns and knockbacks get really extreme. Yeah, I can, I can see that. There's one weird thing about this game is just how the leveling is and how different things are when you are higher level and all that. Run Come on, run while there's still time. The guard still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed. Run from from what? God's blood. You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvatch last night. There were glowing portals outside the walls, gates to oblivion itself. There was a huge creature, something out of a nightmare, came right over the walls. Blasting fire that swarmed around it, killing. Okay. The whole city can't be destroyed. Go and see for yourself. Kvatch is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left. Do you understand me? Everyone else oh is my dead. Gosh. How did you escape? It was Sabli and Matthias. Some of the other guards helped some of us escape. They cut their way out, right through the city gates. Sablian says they can hold the road. No, no, I don't believe him. Nothing can stop them. If you'd seen it, you'd know. Um. I'm getting out of here before it's too late. They'll be here any minute, I'm telling you. Run while you can. What do you guys think? Maybe maybe we should turn back. Nah, I'm kidding. Let's just go. We just fought friggin' Umaril. So. Kvatch is finished. What do you want? Kvatch. Late at night, while we were all asleep, the door to oblivion opened. Deidre came out and set fire to the tent. Many people died, but some got out alive. What about Martin? You mean the priest? I don't think he made it out of the city. Very few of us did. But Savli and Mattias might know more. 
He's in charge of the city guard that are defending the camp. Sadly and Matthias. You'll find him at the barricade at the top of the road. He's still trying to hold what's left of the guard together. Uh -huh. Bye. I've looked everywhere. Perhaps she's still in. You picked a bad time to visit Kavach. Sound very just matter of fact about this. Just. Yeah, you picked a bad time to come. Go look, for yourself. Go look for yourself. The town is gone, and most of its people. The Daedra came out of the gate in the middle of the night. People who fought died. People who ran, they at least had a chance. Let's do business. Yes, let's do business right now. And just, you know, buy some potions. You're welcome. Thank you. Take care. Ah. Watch. gate opened and Deirdre poured out. Everybody ran, or they died. I don't know how the fire started, but it burned Kavach to the ground. Again, they sound so not upset. Oh, the Oblivion Gate just came and um, destroyed the city. I mean, oh, ho oh hum. I'm not gonna be alive. Take care. That's that's a good conversation right there. We do them ja. We've been hit hard, but we'll come back. It looks bad. It is bad. But we're tough. We'll rebuild. The guards have to clear the ruins first. That won't be easy. But I'll be here. This is my town. Nothing is driving me out of here. Well, okay, see, at least she makes sense. Good day. She makes us like, we're tough. We're gonna really come back from this. Again, she's an Argonian. The Argonians are one of the few people that dealt with the Oblivion Crisis like it was nothing. I've looked every I don't have much. I lost every. What do you have? So I can fix what. Kavach. I don't like to talk about it. I don't remember much. I woke to screaming and fire. I ran. I was lucky. I survived. My friends weren't so lucky. I don't like to... I Blasted thief. I hope they string him up when they catch him. He's a slippery one, though. The beggars are his eyes and ears. Right. Goodbye. See you. Bye. Dear Bolden. All right. They wish we could actually rebuild. 
I know there's a mod for that, but I wish you could just rebuild it in the normal game. That would have been really cool and would have made a lot of sense, actually. But, oh well. It was, that was, okay, that was his tent, okay. Who are you? I've heard of you. You're the divine crusader everybody's talking about. Have you seen Martin? If you mean the priest, I don't think he made it out of the city. Very few of us did. But Savry and Matthias might know more. He's in charge of the city guard that are defending the camp. You'll find him at the barricade at the top of the road. He's still trying to hold what's left of the guard together. Uh -huh. I believe it was going to be originally, but yeah, they, I think it was just one of those things he cut out of the game. Which I guess makes sense and is fine, but still would have been cool if they were just able to put it in the game. But oh well. My stuff. All right. Before we get up there, let's just save. Stand back, civilian. This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. What happened here? I lost the damn city. That's what happened! It was too much. Too fast. We were overwhelmed. Couldn't even get everyone out. There are still people trapped in there. Some made it to the chapel, but others were just run down in the streets. The Count and his men are still holed up in the castle. And now we can't even get back into the city to help them. That damned Oblivion gate blocking the way. What will you do now? The only thing we can do. We'll try to hold our ground, that's what. If we can't hold this barricade, those beasts could march right down and overrun the encampment. I have to try and protect the few civilians that are left. It's all I can do now. Do you know where Martin is? You mean the priest? Last I saw him, he was leading a group towards the chapel of Akatosh. If he's lucky, he's trapped in there with the rest of them, at least safe for the moment. If he's not... Kvatch. My home! My goddamn home in flames! It kills me that I can't get in there and do something! We couldn't have been any less prepared for this. Seems like they came out of nowhere. There were just so many of them. If only I had a way to strike back at the enemy. But we can't leave the barricade until that oblivion gate is closed. Oblivion gate. Some kind of portal to oblivion. The enemy used them to attack the city. They appeared outside the walls, and Daedra poured out. They've opened one right in front of the city gates. Until that gate is closed, the best I can do is try to hold these barricades. Help. You want to help? You're kidding, right? Hmm. If you're serious, maybe I can put you to use. It'll likely mean your death, though. Are you sure? I'll do whatever I can. I don't know how to close this gate, but it must be possible, because the enemy closed the ones they opened during the initial attack. You 
can see the marks on the ground where they were. The great gate right in the middle. I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. If you can get in there, find out what happened to them. If they're alive, help them finish the job. If not, see what you can do on your own. The best I can say is good luck. If you make it back alive, we'll be waiting for you. Understood. All right. Let's go to Oblivion. Or Marin Stagon's realm. Oh, we just have the Dory fan here. He's just come with us. I thought that individual right there was moving. Hold on, there was a...
Nice. I don't know why I'm sheathing my weapon because you never know. Fleshy pod. Now, since I'm at this level and I have the stuff I that I do, I'm probably not gonna have to. Daedric Warhammer. I was gonna say probably not gonna have to um, do a lot of exploring around the Daedric gates. Just kind of go in, do the you know, close them, and then you know. Also, be right back again, real quick.
and back. Right, so let's continue onward. Ebony Battle Axe. Oh, hi. The tower purple to the Blood Feast. Lovely name. Yeah, they all definitely have some great names. Come on, come on. I'm gonna assume that one knight uh, died because he's not around. I'm gonna save again. Hello, Ona. How are you? Citadel Hall door. You come here. Oh, fun. Which guy? The I'm just talking about the um. I didn't see the um knight that's truly in here. I didn't see him for some reason. Whoops. But the knights of the nine orc that came with us. Yeah, I think he's dead. Chapel of Dark Salvation. Is that what this place is called? Hold on. No, Corridors of Dark Salvation. Got it. Stop 
hit it. Stop it. Where is it? <laughs> He's like, oh, that looks like a nice place to swim. I'm gonna swim in some lava. Also, Doring Fan is not around either. Awesome. Reaper's Sprawl. Interesting. I, mean, I didn't see the other knight. Like, I know there was that one guy, but... Over here. Oh, him. Quickly. You should not be here, mortal! Your blood is forfeit! Your flesh is mine! Quickly, there's no time. You must get to the top of the large tower. The sigil key, they call it. That's what keeps the oblivion this gate is very, open. um, nice Find the sigil angle. stone. Remove it and the gate will close. Hurry, the keeper has the key. You must get the I've key. got the key. Take the key. Get to the sigil keep and find the sigil stone. It's the only way. Don't worry about me. There's no time. Get moving. But Okay. We'll just not worry about that guy. Blood feast. What? Well, it is face is on fire, so he, he's pretty dead. Ah, oh, there you are.
<laughs> yeah, the Doring fans is, eh, I'm just gonna rest here in, in Oblivion. That's where I like to rest. Ooh, hello. Come over here. Yeah, what's going to happen is that the Adoring fans are probably going to be like, come out of nowhere later. Is that because he died like a few streams ago, and yet he came back just randomly. Because I, I saw him just lying there. We were doing one of the side quests, and he was there with me. Died. I don't know. Oblivion's a strange game. To put it completely lightly. him to get into ah uh, yeah we're not actually gonna be going to be doing the dark brotherhood with this character just because it kind of makes no sense for me to being a big heavy armor dude to do the dark brotherhood but also I kind of can't help because I Killed Lucian. So, yeah. Yeah. They're kind of minor role playing characters. It's like, yeah, would he actually. Would he actually join the Dark Brotherhood? Probably not. I have closed the gate by taking the sigil stone that anchors it within oblivion. I should tell Sa Savlian Matthias that the way into Kvach is now open. Yeah, 
guys. Clutches. If we make it through this alive, yes. I'll be amazed. Close the gate. I knew you could do it. This is our chance to launch a counterattack. I need you to come with us. You've got far more combat experience than these men. Are you able to join us now? I can wait, but not for long. We've got to move quickly before they have a chance to barricade the city gate. I'm ready. Let's go. Polkavatch. Polkavatch! All right. Nice peaceful music for a counterattack. I've entered the ruined city of Kavach with Savli and Matthias and his men. We must clear the southern plaza before the survivors in the chapel can be rescued. Come on! For Kavach! Come here. Like we lag. and his men retake the southern plaza. I should talk to him about the next move. Okay, let's save before we talk to him. Turns out. It's safe to pull those people out of the chapel. Let's get in there and make sure they're all right. Come on. This is only the beginning of the battle for Kabach. We can discuss the next phase once the civilians are safe. All right. Soldier. Sir, we're all that's left. Barak Inian, myself, and these civilians. That's it? There's no one else? There were others, sir, but they refused to stay put. We tried to convince them it was dangerous, but they left anyway. I guess they didn't make it. Very well. The area outside the chapel has been cleared, and these people need to be taken to safety. Escort them to the camp south of here at once. But, sir, I want to help fight. You will, soldier. Once they're secure, get back here immediately. You'll need every available blade, and there'll be plenty of fighting to go around. Sir, yes, sir. Civilians, it's time to move out. Let's go. We've done it. 
I can't believe it. I didn't really think this would work. Maybe we do have a fighting chance. Oh, yes. We're not done. Not even close. This was only the first step. If this town is to be ours again, we'll need to get inside the castle. You've come this far with us. Will you go further? If we're truly going to succeed, I'll need much more of your help. I warn you, though. What we've seen so far is nothing compared to the battle that likely awaits us. Take a few moments to catch your breath and think it over. When you're ready, let me know and we'll get underway. Understood. I heard about how you helped the guard drive the Daedra back. Well done. Hello, Sean Bean. The Emperor told me to find you. The Emperor is dead. Who are you? What do you really want with me? You're Martin, right? The priest? Yes, I'm a priest. You need a priest? I don't think I'll be much help to you. I'm having trouble understanding the gods right now. If all this is part of a divine plan, I'm not sure I want to have anything to do with it. There's a plan. We're a part of it. Gods or not, we need your help. If you came to me for help, you're more of a fool than you look. Look around. What good is a You priest? are Uriel Septim's son. Emperor Uriel Septim? You think the Emperor is my father? No, you must have the wrong man. I am a priest of Akatosh. My father was a farmer. The Emperor knew you were in danger. You spoke to the Emperor before he died? And he told you to find Why would me. I lie to you? I don't know. It's strange. I... I think you might actually be telling the truth. What does this mean? What do you want from me? Come with me to Wayne and Priory. You destroyed the Oblivion Gate, they say. You gave them hope. You helped them drive the Daedra back. Yes. I'll come with you to Wayne and Priory. And hear what Joffrey has to say. Lead on. Are you ready to go? We need your help yes, getting let's to the go. castle, but we <laughs> I knew you'd be up to it. Our goal is the castle gate. We should be able to use this door to get out to the plaza in front of the castle gatehouse. You know the drill. Stick close and keep your eyes open. Let's move out! <laughs> I mean... You know. I guess he's convincing him enough, like, hey, I, uh, you're... The Emperor told me to find you. I know who you are. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just lucky to be I'm alive. sure you are. I'm at your service. I'll never forget him. He saved as many as he could that terrible night. If only they'd listened and stayed with us in the chapel. Well, you know. Farewell. He is the Emperor's son. He has more important things. Look at that.
sharp beam noises. This is no good. The gates are locked, and the only way to open them is from within the gatehouse. That doesn't sound so hard. We can't open that gate from out here. The only mechanism for raising it is inside the gatehouse. And the only way to get into the gatehouse now would be through the passage at the North Guardhouse, but that's always kept locked. Hurry and find Barrich Inian. He should be back in the chapel should still have the key to the guardhouse. Once you've got it, get to the guardhouse, find the passage, and open that gate. Then we can get inside the castle and secure it. All right. We saw the smoke from the gold road while out on patrol. How can we help? Follow me. We'll yes, be right I'm... behind you. I'm just waiting for Captain Mattias to give the order. Finally, a chance to fight back. Guardhouse key. Yes, I have it. Why? Savlian's orders. He no time to explain. <laughs> you do the guard one little favor, and suddenly you think you're Mattias's best friend. You probably couldn't find it on your own. I'm coming with you. If we make it, I'll well, open actually, the door I... for you. I've still got some fight well, left in me. Actually, I have this little thing called a. Quest marker. It just kind of tells me where to go, but. I'm just saying, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But oh, frame rate. That ate 
need to get the guard Kowski off his body and proceed. Yeah, no kidding. Sorry, Martin. Perfect. That is way too much. Martin's in there somewhere. There he is. Ow. Bleed to death. Okay. That was um slightly intense right there. Alright. That was that was a little little bit intense. Who got for this? Gosh, it. Martin. Sorry, Martin. Getting in the way. Dang it.
Okay. I'm definitely going to need to restock on repair hammers after this. I've always thought the um, spider danger always look kind of neat. Most probably because they look like Quilag, probably. But yeah, that's but obviously way smaller. Right, well, I guess let's go down here. Found the tunnel entrance to Kavach. I need to follow it to the gatehouse so I can raise the gates and let the guards into the castle courtyard. Or do I? Raise the gates. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, I'm not surprised that he's unconscious now. Crusader's arms. Okay. Whoops. This area is clear. We've got to get inside and find the count before it's too late. Move out! I did not mean to pick that up.
right. All right. Save. I just forgot how long Kvatch took. That's a flame metronox, so that's not the fire sword. It's not going to help. Oh, gosh, you are just. All right. Also, the reason why I save so much, by the way, is not because I think I might die, but because I don't want to risk it crashing. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, you know. Though, so far, we've been pretty good about crashes, so. That's good. The only issues we've really had have been weird, like, stream issues with the game, but that was really early. I don't know why there was that, but. Seems to, everything seems to be fine now. Knock on wood. Let's save again. Familius Goldwyn. Found the body of Count Goldwyn. Goldwine. Whatever. Yeah. Hmm. 
It has went a lot better than you know, I was expecting. That's always good, right? Martin. Where is the count? Why is he not with well, you? Oh, he's dead. Sorry, he didn't make it. We, we were too late. If only we'd gotten here sooner. This is indeed a dark day for all of us left. But I thank you for risking your own life to help us. Did you find the Count's ring by no, any I didn't chance? No, I don't have it. Secure it at once. It's the only thing we have left. I forgot to do that. I forgot to actually check his body. Glovian signet ring, gold, I'll take both rings just in case. I do. Here do you it have is. The At least this is safe. Thank you. I shall make sure it is protected for the time when a new count is crowned. Here, take this. I have no use for it. I'm tired of fighting. It may serve you well in days to come. Turn him. Let's return Martin back to Joffrey. His pain. Who's? I'm, I'm, I'm wearing pants. I'm, I'm wearing Daedric Greaves. Or Martin has pants on, I know that. Does he not? I did not even notice that. Um, wait, did he give me his Kavach curse? Kavach was rebuilt from ruins once before. Uh, Okay. Thank you for pointing that out. That was quite uh, humorous. Also, welcome, Sun Rain. Or, yeah. Let's go up to Wayne and Priory.
Help! You must help! They're killing everyone at Waynon Priory! I like how the Daedric guy is right behind him. Hold on, tell me what happened. I don't know. I think they're right behind me. Prior Mabarel is dead. Who's attacking Wynn and Priory? I was in the sheepfold when they attacked. I heard the Prior talking to someone. Looked around the corner to see who it was. They looked like travelers, ordinary. Suddenly weapons appeared in their hands, and they cut the Prior down before he could move. They saw me watching, and I ran. Where's Joffrey? Is he safe? <sighs> I don't know. In the chapel, praying, I think. You must help us! Whoa, okay. Oh, Thank you for that follow, Teasley. Much appreciated. God's blood that came out of nowhere. Have you seen Grandmaster Joffrey? Aronor said he was in the chapel. Quick, he may need our help. I do know Martin is pretty awesome as a follower, so. Your timing is excellent. I'll take I the do not fear death. Let's get it. Come on, Lord, stay on. The training of all of the crew. I do not fear. Hang it, Martin. Closer. You're back. Thank Talos. He's killed. They attacked without warning. I was praying in the chapel when I heard Prior Maberell shout. I had just time to arm myself. The Amulet of Kings. I fear that was the target of this attack. I kept it in a secret room in Wainon House. We need to go see if it is safe. I'll go check on the Amulet. We'll go together. Of course But I fear the worst. Oh, I have gold. I don't really need the gold, but... The enemy came here for the Amulet of Kings. How go? Oh, sounds so thrilled. They've taken it. The Amulet of Kings is gone. The enemy has defeated us at every turn. I found Martin. He is safe. So it has not all gone against us. Thank Talos for that. We gained Uriel's heir and lost the Amulet of Kings. Martin cannot stay here. We have driven them off, but they will be back once they learn of Martin's survival. Which they will. Where will Ma Martin be safe? Nowhere is truly safe against the power arrayed against us, but we must play for time, at least. Cloud Ruler Temple, I think. The hidden fortress of the Blades in the mountains near Bruma. A few men can hold it against an army. 
We should leave at once. Cloud Ruler Temple. Cloud Ruler Temple was built long ago by the founders of the Blade, back in the days of Raymond Cyrodiil. It is high in the mountains near Bruman, our ancient fortress, sanctuary, refuge of last resort. Martin will be as safe there as anywhere. Amulet of Kings. With the amulet taken by the enemy, we must get Martin to safety at Cloud Ruler Temple. Assistance. You may as well take Priam Abrel's horse from the stable. He because won't have use for it dead. any longer. We should get moving. I won't rest easy until yes, Martin yes. is safe at Cloud Ruler Temple. Alright, so. So it's one of these. Wait, Martin killed you? I don't know how. Fast travel with a plundered mine. There a little bit. Is this the... That guy. What do you want? Way shrines of the Nine in the wilderness confer blessings on the righteous and faithful. That was very helpful. Goodbye. Where the heck are... Guys, come on. Let's go. I do wish there was horse-strong combat. That'd be nice. I know it's in Skyrim, but still. Then, then again, it's not really great in Skyrim, but still. It is. It does feel good to finally be doing the main quest. Cause I've been doing a lot of stuff like the Fighters Guild, 
um, the arena, which we did in one, like, an hour and a half. <laughs> so, yeah. Then we did the Knights of the Nine, and also some side quests before that, but... So... I think it's probably going to make the main quest go by a lot smoother, hopefully. So. Is this? Yes, Cyrus. This is the Emperor's son, Martin Septim. My lord, welcome to Cloud Ruler Temple. We have not had the honor of an Emperor's visit in many years. Ah, well, thank you. The honor is mine. Come, your blades are waiting to greet you. Totally not evil, Daedric Helmet Man. Totally not evil. I guess wearing the Daedric and the Crusaders curious kind of makes it a little in, you know, in between there. <coughs> Blades, dark times are upon us. The Emperor and his sons were slain on our watch. The Empire is in chaos. But there is yet hope. Me. Here is Martin Septim, true son of Uriel Septim. Hail, Hail Dragonborn! Dragonborn! Hail, Hail, Hail Martin, Martin Septim. Septim! Hail! Hail! Hail. Your Highness, the blades are at your command. You will be safe here until you can take up your throne. Joffrey, all of you, I know you all expect me to be Emperor. I'll do my best. But this is all new to me. I'm not used to giving speeches, but I, I wanted you to know that I appreciate your welcome here. I hope I prove myself worthy of your loyalty in the coming days. That's it. Thank you. Well then, thank you, Martin. We'd all best get back to our duties, eh, Captain? Sir. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> not much of a speech, was it? Didn't seem to bother them, though. The blade saluting me and hailing me as Martin Septim. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I know I would be dead by now if it weren't for you. Thank you. But everyone expects me to suddenly know what to do, how to behave. They want an emperor to tell them what to do. And I haven't the faintest idea. Yeah, I love how out of sync it is. It is... Just, just hilarious sounding. I also just love this guy here. He just all right. We need to get the amulet back. Of course, the amulet of kings. So we, I, can take it to the temple of the One and light the dragon fires, and stop the Oblivion invasion. And you will be the emperor. The Emperor? <laughs> That's an idea that would take some getting used to. In any case, we need the amulet first. Maybe Joffrey will know where to start. Maybe. Amulet of Kings. Practitioners of Daedric magic are familiar with the almost impenetrable barrier between our world and oblivion. What the Emperor told you implies that the amulet is the key to the preservation of that barrier. What I saw at Kavach. Everything I know about Daedric magic says that such stable portals are impossible. Yet those gates to oblivion existed. The old rules no longer apply. Kavach is only the beginning of what Mehrunes Dagon will do. 
If the amulet is truly the key to restoring the barriers between our world and oblivion, you must waste no time in recovering it. Daedric magic. I haven't always been a priest. In my youth, I followed a different path. I know more than I want to about the seductive power of Daedric magic. Let's just leave it well, to I've that. dealt with some Daedra. I mean, I did the quest for Nocturnal, and I got the skeleton key. I also got the, the, the thing for Perry. I got his shield. I mean, you know. Something has changed to make these stable portals to oblivion possible. Joffrey believes that the death of the Emperor and the darkening of the Dragonfires is the key. All right. Don't worry about me, my friend. Hail. I know I'm in good hands. Yeah. You have proven yourself a loyal servant of the Empire, as worthy as any of the Blades to stand by Martin's side during this crisis. As the Grand Master of the Blades, I would be honored to accept you into our order. Will you join us? Also, the music is doing a weird loop thing again. Yes, I will join the Blades. It is my honor to welcome you into our ranks as a Knight Brother of the Blade. A Kaviri Katana added. Amulet of Kings. You're right. We must try to recover the amulet before the enemy takes it out of our reach. You should go back to the Imperial City. Boris may have learned something about the assassin. You'll find Boris at Luther Broad's boarding house in the Elven Gardens district of the Imperial City. The Amulet of Kings. Once we have it back, Martin can use it to light the dragon fires in the Temple of the One and reseal the barriers between Oblivion and our world. Cloud Ruler Temple. This place was built by Raymond Cyrodiil Zakaviri Dragon Guard at the founding of the Second Empire. Since then, it has served the Blades as headquarters, fortress, and sanctuary. We can protect Martin here until you recover the Amulet of Kings. The Blades. This fortress is well supplied with arms and armor. Use what you need from the armory in the East Wing. Understood. Give my warm regards to Boris. Eh. Oh, I need that. Tell him he should not blame himself for the Emperor's death. He did well to send you to me. Actually. I have a home in Lewin. Welcome aboard, sir. First, I'm gonna go to Anvil, sell some stuff, go back home, and probably call it before we get further in the main quest. That's probably what I'm gonna do. But um. But yeah. Let's go sell stuff that we need more. First, let's wait. First, let's do that. Feels kind of weird having no one following me. What can I do? Armor, yes, weapons, I'm sure you I do. have it all. How may I help you? I mean, that's a nice gesture. Gave that's me the extra katana, deal. but I don't need it. Daedra Curious. Have those so I 
a fine gentleman. Okay, so now let me just take all your repair hammers. Thank you. <laughs> just take screw that. Screw that scroll. Take care. Always love it, like the stuff just freaks out and it's always a good time. Let's see. Back to Lewin. Stable outside the city gate. My Leowin house. Oh, hello. Well, well, if it isn't the Holy Crusader himself. Oh, yes, I always love that. Uh, I don't know what you're talking uh, Want to hear a Khajiit joke? Go ahead. Why do Khajiit lick their butts? Why? <laughs> to get the taste of Khajiit <coughs> cooking out of their mouths. <laughs> <laughs> a real thigh slapper, that one, eh? You! I heard lots others, only I can't remember them. Have you been near Rosentia Galenus' house recently? Smells horrible, like she left some meat out to spoil. That's just absolutely, just a hilarious joke. Just a hilarious joke. Ooh. Every time I pass by that woman's house, I hear odd animal noises. Huh? Whatever. Huh. Yes. <laughs> I heard that one. Why do Oh, well, I heard lots of others on the. Ah. Farewell. Go ahead. I was, I was hoping you were going to say something like, here's an Argonian joke. But no. There's none of that. Okay, so. You don't need that. I'll probably sell some of these rings. See Sir Emil's journal. All right. Let's rest up, level up, and then, yeah. So speed, personality, agility. Yeah, that's good. Four hundred and sixty one on the health. Awesome. All right. So yeah, like I like I said, that's going to be it for now. Um we finished the Knights of the Nine quest line. We, um, started more on the main quest with the Kvatch, saved Martin, took him to Cloud Roller Temple, and yeah, now we're going to go back to the Imperial City and talk to Boris about the Amulet of Kings and all that. So yeah. 
So anyway, so thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for any follows and all that. And yeah, so until next time. And thank you. All, all Zeefy. I was pretty glad you were here. See you around.